I have a party to attend in the evening and my party shirt is still not ready. I'm waiting for it to dry. Finally, some parts of it are dry. We all have seen clothes dry, right? But have you ever wondered where all the water goes? In the air? Well, yes. The water in the clothes goes into the air. But we don't see the water going into the air. The thing is, it gets converted to water vapor and goes into the air. The process of changing liquid to its vapor form is called evaporation. Hey, but water also changes to vapor when we keep a pan of water on the stove. Is that also evaporation? Hmm. No, it's a different process that is called boiling. If you observe, the temperature of the water in the pan is very high when compared to the shirt drying outside. Phew, the sun is so hot and I am sweating a lot. Did you know that even animals sweat? And what about plants? Do they sweat too? Puzzled, right? <laughs> Let's find out with this fun activity. Here's what you need. A medium-sized plant, just like this one. Some plastic bags and rubber bands. First, we tie a plastic bag around a leaf using a rubber band. Then take another plastic bag and simply close it, leaving it empty. Now, Keep the plant as well as the empty plastic bag in sunlight for two hours. It's been two hours already. Let's find out what happened. Whoa! Did you see that? We can see drops of water appear on the inner side. Now let's look at the empty bag. See? It has no drops on the inside. So does that mean plants also sweat? Actually, no. It's just water that is lost by the plants in the presence of sunlight. And this process is called transpiration. But we don't see any water come out of the plants with our eyes, right? Yes, that's because the water leaves the plants in the form of water vapor, which is not visible to us. So how did these droplets form? When this water vapor touches the surface of the plastic bag, it cools down and changes back to liquid water. This process of vapor changing to its liquid form on cooling is called condensation. You can actually see condensation taking place during early winter mornings in the form of dew drops on the grass and plants. This happens because water vapor present in the atmosphere condenses due to the low winter temperature to form dew drops. These drops settle on the blades of grass and leaves of plants. Well, that was a fun learning session. Let's quickly have a recap. Liquid changes into vapor through the process of evaporation. Plants lose water in the form of water vapor through the process of transpiration. Vapors change to liquid form through the process of condensation. So, Next time you see droplets of water on the grass, don't be surprised. Hey look, my shirt has dried. Now I should get ready for the party. <laughs> and remember, we stay curious.